Welcome back to the Making the Madness YouTube channel. This is Jonathan Ayer, Break Down the News. As Jay Wright has announced that he is stepping away, he is going to retire from college basketball. B big news, you know, just a landscape changing type of, you know, decision from Jay Wright, who leaves is, you know, arguably on top of the game. You know, he leaves going to a Final Four. Uh, look, he didn't win a national championship. It, that's kind of a proper way to go out, but. You, you look at him, I mean, in terms of his career, it went as well as you could possibly imagine. You know, two national championships in 2016 and 2018. Uh, you know, had a 21-year tenure, won a 520 games uh, at Villanova. Like, he did it all. And uh, certainly, you know, an incredible career for him, from him will go down as one of the best coaches ever. Uh, I'm not, you know, going to list into, like, a – you know, go into a full list of best coaches of all time. But I'd imagine if you did that, I'd imagine he probably ends up being, you know, a top 10 coach of all time. Uh, just what he did at Villanova, what he did kind of turning that program into what it was, uh, you know, when he ultimately has decided now that he's going to uh, leave Villanova. And uh, he leaves this Villanova, you know, team in a good spot. Like, uh, still there's a lot of questions uh, and you know certainly Kyle Neptune who will ultimately replace him will have you know some interesting decisions to be made uh, but you know you look at this Villanova program uh, since 2016 three final fours two national championships leaves going out with the final four appearance I mean that is as good as you could possibly imagine he is an incredible coach um, and you know, leaves on top of the game, and you look at him. I mean, he is someone that is you know obviously everyone kind of looks at you know the suits he was wearing, you know all that like as an iconic you know figure in the game. But what can't be lost is his ability to coach the game of basketball, to you know, develop players, to get the right culture fits. You know, it wasn't about you know getting the best player this second best player every you know top five recruit possible because if it was he wouldn't be able to develop players the way he did and he got the right four-year guys he got you know the Archie Diaconos the Jalen Brunsons of the world you know the Mikhail Bridges and developed them into you know high-level pros high-level basketball players by the time their career uh, was finished just look at Colin Gillespie uh, he was you know when he came into Villanova, he wasn't that highly regarded. He wasn't, you know, the best player ever, but he developed into being that type of player. And I think that speaks to Jay Wright's coaching. That speaks to his ability to uh, just, you know, kind of lead by example and, uh, you know, develop and have his players develop as well. Uh, that's certainly as much as a testament on Jay Wright is a testament to his players as well for taking the coaching, for taking that, and, you know, getting that into the success he had uh, and leaving with, you know, all sorts of, you know, accolades, two national championships, four Final Fours. Incredible job at Villanova and leaves, you know, arguably as one of the best coaches in the sport. Doesn't do a, you know, year-long retirement tour uh, either. You know, I think there was a lot of class with Jay Wright. You know, you look at him, he was someone... I think when his decision, his mind was made up, he decided, you know what, now, you know, I'm going to step away. And, you know, some wouldn't have do, done that the way he did, but Jay Wright certainly did. He felt it was time. He felt like, you know, leaving Villanova in a good spot, and uh, he's decided to go. And looking forward to next season for Villanova, I mean, there's a lot of question marks, like Justin Moore being healthy, you know, we'll see on that. Achilles injuries typically take, you know, nine months to heal. So waiting on that, you know, Eric Dixon going to be a kind of interesting piece coming back at the center spot. You have Brian Antoine, you'll probably get, you know, transfers, uh, pieces to develop in the system, maybe a few other players. You know, this is not going to be a fantastic Villanova basketball team, I don't think, going into next season, but it'll be interesting to see where, where Kyle Neptune is going with this program. Certainly, I think he was kind of the, you know, current fit. 
I think, you know, in the future, we'll see where he kind of takes this program. I think it might be a program that kind of stays within the family. We've seen that, you know, time and time again with these program changeovers. Just look at Duke and North Carolina, both going with assistant coaches. Uh, He goes with someone who was an assistant coach and ultimately got the Fordham job uh, in Kyle Neptune. So we'll see where he kind of takes this Villanova program next season. Certainly looks like it's going to be a step back. You're not going to have Gillespie. Uh, you're not going to have Samuels kind of get, guiding them there. Uh, there'll be, you know, certainly some interesting places for this Villanova program to go. But uh, just looking ahead to next season, going to be interesting. Uh, but j- the big news of the day, of course, Jay Wright announcing he has decided to step away, to retire from the game of basketball. We'll see if maybe he, you know, decides to. He is only 60. Maybe he wants to coach again at some point, and certainly any program, any basketball team would be, you know, love to actually have him coach their team. Uh, But at least for right now, he wants to step away, retire, and get away from the game of basketball. And he does that at a young age. He's not going to be coaching forever. And I think that's a live credit to Jay Wright as well. So, Uh, The big news, though, of the day, Jay Wright deciding to retire. Uh, We'll see where this program goes, but uh, big news and, you know, credit to Jay Wright for his incredible basketball career. Thanks again for tuning in to the Making Madness YouTube channel. Uh, Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll be back with more uh, breaking news, transfers, anything you would want. So stay tuned.